What's going on you six motherfuckers? It's your boy Josh back here. And we're back for some more Feed the Beast goodness. And don't know why I said that for. Oh, God. As you can see, I'm just going to quickly show you where we left off last episode. We were, I actually managed to fix a lot of things. As you can see, there's some things which are obviously a little different. We've also got our ender chest and a chunk loader. I'm going to show you how to make those very, very soon. Don't intend to record for too long tonight. But I'm not feeling too well either. So, we've got ourselves a liquid transposer, which is powered by a redstone energy cell down there, which we're going to obviously set up a proper source of redstone energy fairly soon. Got a few MF MFEs here. Oh, excuse me. All powered by these geothermal generators, which we obviously made last lesson. Lesson, I was going to say lesson. Last episode, and I'm going to show you what I did to the nether, because I couldn't get the nether section to work properly. And in here we're going to have a bunch of machinery. This is just obviously a pre-laid out room. And that room is what we're going to be working on this episode, so we're going to get straight into that. Let's uh, see what materials I've got on me. I'm going to obviously have to go back to the overworld to show you everything that we made and how to make it because I've got a bunch of things there and fucking bunch of. Ugh. Anyway, straight to the nether. I'll put some doors on here and this is our final setup. This is our power cell. Um, whenever I'm running low on power, I'll flip that. That then runs these engines which will pull lava out of there and into this tank here which is currently full. Uh, that tank is then being having its lava pulled out by those engines there and that is going to link to this magmatic engine which is actually over here at the moment and obviously a wrench that and into the transposer. The transposer pulls out from this chest here all our empty la empty cells and puts into there they then get filled with lava straight back into there so it's like a continual cycle and obviously with here we're running a couple of uh, redstone engines which you know, they're, quite, they're the cheap engines so it's not too bad but anyway let's go back to the uh, over one and show you a couple of things which I made between this episode and the last and obviously show you what we're doing and uh, today we'll probably make another I think we might make our first MFSU actually uh, something, uh, let's go to that one and as you can see out of the waterfall that is shut, that's alright and it would be fucking night time I think I'm the only one on, yeah I'm, I'm the only one on the server so I'm going to go quickly sleep get the night time out of the way uh, ooh, I kind of love that glitch. I think it's a glitch. I'm going to take some more walks, obviously. been out for the past couple of days. I was out getting royally drunk on uh, the Sunday night. And then I went, decided to go out in the sun. Obviously, it would have been yesterday, which would be the Monday. And, yeah, I'd pay for it. Heavily. Oh, God. Just keep hitting him. There we are. I'd pay for it heavily, really. It's my full sort of. It's okay. Let's see what we've got in these project tables. Obviously we've got RE batteries, they were for, we're going to need some of them actually because I want to make a jetpack. Uh, dark engineering bricks which is, they're literally stone brick with Zolcraft blocks around them. Uh, and that obviously makes a valve, so that's how you make valves. That's something I work with to make the things. Uh, in here we've got obviously glass viewers, which I don't particularly want to use glass again. Normal regular gra glass looks horrible. Cause of that. But this episode I've actually got a plan. Uh, this episode we're going to be working on a proper storage system. It's not going to be any of this. It's going to be a proper one. We're going to do, probably do the basics of it, and we're obviously going to make... See, I was looking at lap packs. I also wanted to make a drill. Probably an advanced one, because I don't think that's... The only thing that's expensive about that is the... Obviously, the cells aren't too expensive, I don't think. Nope. They're not expensive at all, but I'll probably stick with a normal dime drill for the time being, because uh, I've got the titanium, which I can actually make that fairly soon. Uh, let's quickly pop these back in there, because obviously now I've got everything I wanted to show you. Let's take those glass viewers out as well, because I might need them. Uh, let's put that in there. Some glass fiber cable and everything. So yeah, pretty prepared at the moment. Um, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna use something. We're gonna use a lovely mod. Let's quickly. We're gonna quickly let's filter it down to that. We're gonna be using applied energistics, and applied energistics is a wonder. Honestly, it's one. Ever since I've seen people using it properly, it's one. Of my, it's turned to be one of probably my favourite mods. Um, this basically allows us to create compact storage systems and stuff like that, which is what actually is really good. Yeah, I can't even think of the words. We need to make an advanced processor, which is a quartz cutting knife, and some of this stuff. But I think I could do it one better. I've got an idea. I've got no. I don't like that. I think I've got a sword in this chest. Please tell me I've got a sword in one of these chests. There we are. Knew I had. Uh, we can go with that one. 
Let's quickly go take this bitch out. Bye, bitch tits. Goodbye, bitch tits. There we are. Sit there. We go. One problem sorted. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to start doing? What was? Oh, I completely lost my train of thought now. I'm going to sit here, and it's just going to come back to me. We're going to make a compact storage system. I've said that. But oh yeah, I was. I know I was going to make. Um, before we actually, let's quickly unfilter this. I think I should do that by going. Let's get rid of all that. We're going to make one of these things. A nice fabricator, which is obviously made with more dark engineering bricks, so I can actually show you how that's made. Uh, Psychoridite. And let me see. Psychoridite. Uh, I'll just take a stack of that. So now I've got plenty of it there. That's obviously got one, two, three, four. We've got our redstone in the middle. And if I go into my little canvas bag there, I should have some stone bricks. Wonderful. Let's quickly get into that. And then it should be stone bricks like that. That makes four dark engineering bricks, which is going to make eight of them. Ooh. How do you start? Uh, obviously we've got PS3 coming on now, it's all good. Uh, so we need a crafting bench, some stone, and an iron ingot. Iron ingot, I think I should be able to get here. Yeah. We should have some wood in here, that's perfect. There's a crafting bench. We need some stone now, stone, stone. That's upstairs, but I might actually have some on me. Uh, apparently not. Let's quickly set up the recipe for this fabricator. I believe it's one, two, three, four. I think. Uh, we need an iron ingot, which goes at the top. We need a crafting bench, which we've got my minion stone on me. I do not. There's something on me, so I think we need to make another one of them actually. We can quickly make this liar. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to just basically get most materials I'm going to need, and it's just easy to put it into a chest. Hang on now, that goes in the middle. We could go. Ooh, I don't think I can jump that. No, not quite. Yeah, it's easy to put into a chest and just let the fabricator do all the work. And it seems pretty quick that way. Uh, I need three stone nowhere. Actually, I should just take the whole stack of that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it at some point. Let's quickly put three outside. Put the rest in that, like so. Let's quickly go and pop it in here. Still taking a bit of damage. And. One, two, three, voila, we've made ourselves a fabricator. Fabricators are probably one of the best items in the game. I'm going to actually empty one of these chests. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hang on, I just had a good idea. I've got gold there, I need a piece of iron. And we're going to go one iron in the middle, surrounded by gold. I'm pretty sure that gives me a chest upgrade. It does indeed. Iron's, uh, iron's a gold upgrade. And we're going to be taking one of the empty. Well, we're going to need most of this stuff. We need pretty much all these quartz. I should probably show you how to make a quartz cutting knife as well. This arm we can just dodge drop in here. There we go. Wonderful. Let's quickly sort my inventory out a little more. Let's put some of the stuff in here. There we go. Wonderful. And that should be one of these chests empty now. That's this one. And we now have chest. Seems to be no leg on the server today, which is also brilliant. Let's go, let's quickly go and make a little cell. This obviously fabricated thing's not gonna be a permanent fixture. I need to make a proper crafting room for that. Um, also I'm gonna have to pop into my personal safe here. I'm gonna need probably half my diamonds. Let's take half of all the important things. Like so. I'm also gonna need my ender chest apart from one. I don't think I need any more than that. See, I think that's fine now. I personally think that's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's fine. Let's quickly go into the Nexus then. Which can set up a. Well, because of where we're actually going to be working, I'm just going to set up a fabricator itself just in there. Uh, let's see, let's quickly get over that. We're going to be working here. Obviously, I didn't show you, I actually have a Forge Lexicon now, which allows me for quick transmutation of ores. So, we're just going to pop that there, like the fabricator next to it. We also need one ender chest, that's going to go in the corner there. It's going to obviously be leading on to what's coming next, and before we do that, big storage. Let's, quickly, let's pop all these gems in here, it's quartz dust, a canvas bag. I haven't actually used much of the uh, fabricators yet, so this is going to be as much of a learning curve experience for me as it is for obviously you guys are back there, back watching this. Also the quartz cutting knife needs to go in there, let's organise that. I'm going to go get go back to the obviously the initial base, get some metals and stuff like that. And a couple of I obviously get the rest of my iron, some of the gold, a stack of gold, 
stuff like that. I mean, obviously, can, oh, not another. No. Just makes it a little quicker to speed up the process. Would help if I was going the right way. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We're going to need. Let's take that, that. That's refined iron. I've got a stack of that. Stack of that. Set of tin, stack of copper, stack of gold, stack of silver, stack of lead. Uh, what's that? Nickel, stack of nickel, yeah, why not? Couple of stacks of lapis, couple of stacks of three stacks of redstone, stack of nickelite, stack of. Oh, I just don't know, I'm just, gonna, I'm just taking everything. Uh, let's see, I'm actually not doing too bad for space. Uh, might need some side chlorodite, you never know, might need some engineering bricks. I'm gonna get a couple of stacks of wood as well. Um, let's take that. One more. Tin ingots, yeah, I'm going to take them as well. Should probably have left them in there, but I'm going to take them anyway. Let's see what else we got. Let's make sure I don't need anything, that's the thing. I'm going to probably take a stack of redwood logs as well. Let's reorganise that chest. Right, I think, think, think that's it. Let's hope it is. I don't particularly want to be getting anything else. We're just going to pop everything in there, and we're, going to just, we're just going to roll with it. One of the big thing about the fabricator is, by its name, it fabricates things, and fabricating things automatically seems to be a lot easier than me remembering the recipes. So let's go. Nexus. What we're going to do? Okay, first things first. We need some processors. So I'm going to quickly look up the recipe for that, and we're going to see how that goes. In this chest, we're going to. Dump all these. If that's everything, that. Let's see if I've got anything in my canvas bag which I should be putting in. Let's pop that away at the moment. Organise. Uh, stone we need to put in. Uh, 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 we need glass. That is something we definitely do need. I'm going to have to go get some glass. Let's organise that chest again. Let's quickly go get some glass and then I think we should be done. I forgot about the uh, materials actually upstairs. This is taking a little long, it's a lot of running around and as soon as we get the whole sorting system sorted, <laughs> sorting system sorted, let's quickly get that. I used to be able to fly out because obviously when I'm obviously not recording, I have to do server monitoring and stuff like that. So a lot of creative mode time spent. Ugh. And I'm going to need these. Obviously not at this precise moment of time, so we're going to put them in there. Okay, right, 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 right. We're running quite low on glass actually, so let's take three stacks of that. Uh, let's see what else. That I'm going to need dirt, but I'll take a stack of logs. If it wouldn't run away from me. Job, I give up. It's a lost entity. It's a lost entity. <laughs> um, I don't think I need any of that, but I'll check some anyway. There we are. It's actually taking us that now. We'll tap both. I think that's it now. And obviously, just in time because it's starting to get dark. It's got to the place where n no mobs can find us. Well, they can. They just choose from to not be able to get there by the magic of uh, lighting. It's wonderful. Uh, let's see. Don't need anything else in here, do I? Don't think so, don't think so. Don't need any of the iridium, I don't think. Should hope not anyway. Right, let's go let's get back and let's get do some let's do some crafting. So what we're gonna be doing is setting up a we're gonna set up an MFSU today, weren't we? That's a shame we're not gonna be doing I don't think I'll get around to that. Which means we're just gonna end up crafting a lot of the items. Uh, let's pop this stuff in here. Oh, I think I need to cut that down. So if I can quickly grab myself a furnace. Oh gosh, golly gosh, golly golly gosh! I wanted to set this stuff out, wasn't it? That was stuff I wanted to put in. So I might actually take some of that red, that red wire cable out. See me needing that actually. And I'm gonna have to make one last trip back. I say to grab some coal, coal in a furnace. Such so quickly about that. Oh yeah, but I was meant to show you this. Made a little enchantment room that so. I know I forgot something, I always forget something, always forget the little dot, little minor details. Come on. Uh, open. Close. Just can quickly run and grab a furnace. 
I should probably grab two. Let's get the pickaxe out ready. Stroll in here like one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll take the six of them. I'm just going to go grab some coal. So we can speed through. And obviously, it helps because I actually have got some setups. Just not set up, so to speak. Um, let's take four stacks. That should be enough. And I think we're done We're done in the overworld for a bit now. Um, I'm not going to have to come back here for, probably until next episode. Which I know I spent probably 10 minutes in here out of the 15 that I've already been recording. Which is disastrous. You can tell that's a bad noise. Uh, Nexus. Yeah, I actually need to get my bearings again. Let's take a drink. It's a problem we're talking for too long. I tend to get a very dry throat really quickly. Oh. Doesn't help that I've got sunstroke as well. So I'm just going to moan to you about my pro moan at you about my problems. Let's quick tell that. Right, we need to take these furnaces. I should pop them here for the time being. Uh, four, five, six. Half a stack. I don't know how I managed to get 32 and 30. One. Two. Half a stack again. Three. Four. And um, we're going to quit do it again. I'm just going to do it like that. That'll do it. Right, and while we're waiting for that glass sperm, we're actually going to actually... We're actually going to get a move on. Uh, creative tabs, applied energy sticks, let's sort by that. First thing we're actually going to have to make is something called an ME controller. An ME controller obviously requires some quartz crystals, some iron, which we've got, and some ME advanced processors. An ME advanced processor is made by an advanced processor assembler, which is made in this form. I forgot my silicon. Damn it, I'm gonna have to go back. Right, <laughs> this I'll, I'll, I might cut this bit out, but I don't think so, because it's only gonna take a couple of seconds. I can't believe that's the one thing that I forgot. <sighs> oh my days. This is one thing that I've been cooking up for a long time as well. So I didn't know what the whole gist of applied logistics was until recently, so. And I've been cooking up silicon for a very long time. Cause that's what I was doing, I was basically getting my uh, quartz dusts out of my quartz gems and stuff like that. Okay, I think I've got everything now. Let's hope we've got everything, I don't need anything else. I'm going to hope so anyway. A man can hope. I think I might have actually done something else which I haven't showed you. I've moved a couple of chests into my Thorncraft room, that was about it. So we're actually going to start research on Thorncraft because I want to start doing a lot of automating with farms and stuff like that. And there are mate, ways of doing it, but I'm going to test out a couple of ways, especially around here, because it should be a pretty epic build. Okay, I think I have everything there. I think. I think, think, think. Oh, no, I need a steak. That's not for you. Alright, that's going to be annoying. Store. There we are. Let's put the flint in there as well. I think, don't think that'll move. There we are. Wonderful. So, what we're going to do... We're going to go into here, we're going to ME controller, ME advanced processor, and what we're going to limit, we're going to limit the redstone here. So let's take the redstone out. We're going to quickly go into there, ME controller, ME advanced processor, press the question mark, and that pops up in there. And for every time I put in two, that's going to make one of those. Um, I'm probably going to put in a handful. Let's get, we're going to make five, I think. There we are. That's wonderful. We're going to set those, and what do we need next? ME controller, we're obviously going to need a quartz crystals, iron ingots. We need to cook these advanced processes up. Let's quickly take that out. And we're going to take that out. Take that out. Let's grab this glass as well. And there we are, we're going to cook those up now. Let's pop, these, pop this glass in here. Obviously, that's going to use ooh, ME advanced processor. Just going to let them catch up. Now what else do we need? We need for the ME control. I can question mark that. And um, what we're going to limit on that I think is the iron. I think we should take, take the iron out because obviously that's our most finite resource at the moment. I'm just going to quickly go and grab all these advanced processors. As you can see that was nice and, nice and quick, nice and simple. And I saw five processors. Actually I can put that in. And I can limit the, yeah, I can limit the processors then. So if I pop one in there, 
bang, we get an enemy controller. And that's why I love the fabricator, it's such a it's a nice little thing to use. Uh, we're also gonna need, let's see, an ME access terminal. That's the next thing we need. We've got glass, ME cable, which is something we need to make now. I'll show you how to make ME cable, shall we? ME cable is made of red stems and quartz fibre. Quartz fibre is this. Um, let's quickly go grab some of the dust set. We can do it like this. And we're going to go, alright, we need some ME cable. I want you to make some ME cable. Like that, with that recipe. I've took, taken all the rest of that. Oh no, we need, we need the quartz fibre itself, don't we? My bad. Uh, t -t 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 my bad. No, I forgot something. Quartz fibre. We're going to question mark that. There we are. We made some of that, and then if we go straight back into the... Give me a second. Let me just quickly turn that into a recipe mode, because it's so much easier to do. We can go straight into... Where are we, where are we going? ME cable. I could just go like this. Question mark. That's going to make me some ME cables, and they're actually going to be quite important. Now we've got the ME cables, we're going to go straight into our access terminal, which we need a conversion matrix for, which is a basic processor. Basic processor is made like that, and we're going to limit, obviously, the gold for this one. ME basic processor. And if we just whack one piece, we're actually going to whack a few pieces of gold in that. Uh, we'll, we'll stick with five again, that seems like a ideal situation. And we're just going to, what we're just going to do, go one. You cut that down, two, three, as you can see I can definitely do it with an automated system, uh, four, and back to you for five. Let me basic processor, and if I just pop, hang on, where are we going? We're going the access terminal, weren't we? The conversion matrix, let's question mark that, and I'm just going to pop that processor in, conversion matrix. It's wonderful, 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 we're doing it brilliantly at the moment, we're going to need one of those. Oh. Perfect, we got one. That's exactly what we need. So we've now got an access terminal and a controller. The controller is going to be basically what absorb it takes in the power. And from the power, we're actually going to obviously use it that way. Um, so we can actually start laying down our machinery here. Uh, the controller actually, hmm, I think I want to move this ender chest. I want to move the ender chest. So I want the controller to be in the wall here. Probably not one the wall there. Um, I think we have the controller at the bottom. Oh, this probably isn't the safest of ideas. Controller at the bottom, an access terminal above it, we actually have a crafting terminal there, which I think I can make now, let's have a look, uh, crafting terminal, we need storage cell, which is made, we can do that actually, quickly grab a basic processor, put the basic processor in, we get ourselves a storage cell, then for the crafting terminal, what do we need, we need a crafting bench as well, so we need a crafting table, if I did that, that's just, I thought I'd put wood in there, Oh, natural wood there. I think that's because I've got... Hang on, we've got any in here? No, I don't. Um, let's see, hang on. Best way to do this. Oh, I don't think I've got a crafting bench anywhere. Uh, what am I doing? I have a crafting bench in my inventory. Let's take the whole of that. We're obviously going to put... Oh, God, what's this? That's my mod. That's because of my mod pack. Admin mod pack to keep for cheaters. Shit, I may have just made uh, a bunch of crafting benches. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, we need one in that. And we're going to make ourselves a crafting terminal. Which is that. And I believe if I do that, I should make... Ooh, what am I missing? Uh, we need another access terminal. Okay, where's the access terminal? Question mark. Uh, we need to go actually make ourselves a conversion matrix. Which means I'm limiting again. The processors. So if I slot a processor in there, get conversion matrix. Then we're gonna obviously go for like that. Crafting terminal. We now need our crafting terminal. And boom, we got ourselves a crafting terminal. Obviously, this isn't gonna work until we hook it up to some power. Let's quickly pop that, and we're gonna pop that there. I think when we hook that up to some power, it's gonna be pretty good. Odd. It's gonna be a pretty good system, as you can tell. That's running units there. It's got its. It's obviously running the units there. That's what I meant to say. Um, let's see, let's quickly organise our inventory. Hang on, let's make sure. Okay, I don't think I need any of that. Um, what's the next? ME drive. I think I need one of these. I'm going to need a chest. Hang on, I've got my. I've got planks in my inventory. I need to pop them in there. So you now have a steady supply. 
And what I'm going to do, I think, actually, is do that. Because we're going to go straight into our ME drive, straight into a chest. Question mark, it's going to make a few chests. ME drive, then, we need, obviously, two basic processors, which I've actually got around here. Uh, it might be the top ones. I think we've got two left, actually, which is perfect. It means we just worked out the right cost there. Get the ME drive there, and if we go question mark, it's going to form us an ME drive. We need to take this out as well. Let's pop that in there. Keep doing that. Hit the wrong button. And we're obviously going to store our wood in there. Just hope it doesn't do anything with it. Uh, there we go. So we need to now work on our ME chests. ME chests are a wonderful thing. Conversion matrix, which obviously means we're going to need more basic processors. And I can't remember how to make the ooh, gold. Yeah, we've got the gold on. I see. Yeah, we're going to get ourselves some basic processor assemblies. Uh, we need to go into here. Basic processor assembly question mark. I'm just going to store a couple of these in. I'm probably going to say about 10 of them, I think. Actually, do you know what? Let's do that. I might say this might be a bit of a waste of a gold, but you know. Let's quickly split these. Four. Five. Five. Four. <laughs> two. Nine. And an eight there. We're going to take the glass out of here and here. Put the glass in there. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. An ME driver actually. I'm not sure if we're going to use an ME drive system yet or what we're actually going to use, but that's actually going to go uh, right here. Might as well put the drive there as well. So that's where we're going to have all our systems. If I, it depends whether I actually go for a chest or a drive st storage system, which is obviously going to be highly dependent at the moment. Um, what we're we making, we're making, let's see, ME chest. Actually, I might need a preform hour as well. That's conversion matrix. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take the crafting tables out. Let's leave one in there. I think we actually need a conversion matrix first, which means we have to take these processes out. And we're just going to, yeah, we'll do it this way. This seems like the easiest way. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Conversion matrix. Conversion matrix, where have you gone? It is around here somewhere. It is there. Let's put a question mark there. We're just going to slot the processor in there. Now we take that. We want to preformat it. And. Boom. Doing wonderful things here. Wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, let's see. What else can we do now? We got uh we need some import buses which are I suppose I'll get onto them soon, but I'm gonna need some for that I'm gonna need some interfaces. Um, we're actually gonna need a couple more of those. Oh we got three conversion matrixes now. I'm probably gonna need a couple more actually, the more I think about it. I'm trying to think how many I'm actually going to need. So I'm gonna need a bunch of buses. And I think that's all of them there. So if I s drop a, should we say, oh, I'm short on now. I'm short on something. I think that should be the iron, actually. Yeah, I'm short on iron, so what we're going to do? Five will do. Do I need, please tell me I don't need iron for an interface. I do need iron for an interface. So I guess I'm going to have to go and smell a bunch of iron down. So I think I'm going to call the episode here anyway, because we've got ourselves a preformatter, which is pretty impressive. First episode of uh, looking at applied energy sticks, got ourselves a preformatter. As you can see, I can actually format chests and stuff like that. And what I might actually do is make some storage housings. Where are we going? Where are we going with this? There should be some storage set, storage style housing. That's the one. Apparently not. Storage segments, obviously made with processing storage cells, which is made like that. Um, let's see. We need to make ourselves some storage. I just want to make a 16k storage, which is a storage block, which is an advanced processor actually, so that's slightly more expensive, but we're gonna, we'll, we'll get to it. It's all obviously a work in progress. Um, let me clear. Actually, the fabricator should be fine. Pop them in there. Those can go back. Got some advanced processors still, so we can actually start works on some of the other stuff straight in the beginning of the next episode. And what I might actually do real quick, I think I should do this now, this episode. We need to make ourselves a jetpack. So I think that's something I'm going to work on before I wrap the episode up here. And we need ourselves an electric jetpack here. So it's made by two refined iron, an advanced circuit, a bat box and two glowstone. The bat box is probably the hardest thing to make here. Actually I'll take it back, the circuit probably is. But I'm pretty sure I bought some of the... I bought some cables over, didn't I? 
Ob did. Um, I've got some copper. I should be able to make the advanced circuit here actually. Uh, so we're obviously going to need. Actually, I need to go into the actual fabricator. Let's take that, that, and we want the electronic circuit. Uh, we need to limit something. I'm saying. I'm saying we limit the redstone like that. Should run really, da run really down on redstone really quick there. Uh, it's a question mark that. So we got ourselves an electric circuit. Uh, whack in the events. Ooh, what are we missing? Glowstone, redstone. And we need four pieces of redstone. So actually, let's just drop that in there. Fan circuit. We then, I think we actually have everything. No, we need to make ourselves a bat box, which actually, I'm actually going to have to get um, some RE batteries, which is back at the base. I'm going to quickly go and get that. Shouldn't take me too long. Got some processors. I'm actually quite liking how quickly this, this system's going up. Because then at least I can now be able to fly, which is going to be something that's quite important, especially in the next couple of episodes. Because I want to eventually, I want to try and get to an, an advanced jetpack as quickly as possible. Because that's actually probably the most important thing to obviously aid in my build, especially with it being a void world and stuff like that. That's going to be the most important thing that I can actually do at the moment. So, as you can see, I've got some batteries, but I think it's called the tip. Uh, damn it. Oh, I've got five tin that. So if I put that in that, I should have to make two RE batteries. Uh, that's annoying. I shall go quickly grab the other piece of tin. I completely forgot about that. It's going to be wrapped up to about a 32 minute episode, and probably a bit actually longer than that now. So I need to obviously finish this jetpack, which I suppose as soon as I've got the batteries, it shouldn't take too long. And the fact that I've got most things anyway, so it's all good. It's going really well at the moment. I've had a pretty productive episode this today, and I've probably stum stumbled over my words a lot, so I apologise for that in advance. And obviously, it's going to aid with us actually not just being boots. But nice to have something on our uh, back. So let's quickly take some tin. Tin, tin, tin. Let's take half of that. I'm actually going to have to have an ender chest which links to probably the overworld at some point. Um, seems like a pretty decent idea. Let's quickly grab ourselves another battery. Uh, main base won't be the quickest way. I'm actually going to do slash home because I could just run straight along and get that really quickly for the speed of the episode. Uh, it's in this one, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, one, two, three. I should be able to actually physically get it with that. Yeah, bang. There we are. That's three batteries. Um, we need to actually run back now to the Nexus, which is a wonderful, wonderful place when it's finished. Um, probably going to work on some. Oh, uh, MFSU and finishing our sto well, getting the main basics of our story system down in the next episode. I'm actually going to have to probably do some in between the episode mining to catch up on some redstone. Actually, I could do is transferring a lot of my stuff over so it doesn't actually have so much back and forth because we actually spent a good seven and a half, eight minutes there working, our, working on our little system, which we've actually got a basis for now. Um, if I drop those three in, we should get ourselves. Oh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Got cables. Three RE batteries. I've got planks in there, haven't I? What am I missing? I think it's because these need to be. What is going on, actually? So to. I should do that. It's not, it's not even going to enter. I might have just messed this up, potentially. But I thought that would work. I, I, honestly, I really did. Uh, let's see if putting them in there now. Yeah, there we go. It made ourselves a bat box. The bat box is then used for the electric jetpack to go bang, and we have ourselves a jetpack. It's all going good, guys. Let's go put this electric jetpack in our thing, and we're going to actually go. We're going to start. It's going it's to start going. Let's go like this. Boom! Boom! I'm actually going to replace these with MFSEs. MF, yeah, MFSUs even, not MFSEs. Because it's actually charging pretty slowly, which is a shame. Um, but I'm going to quickly give you a nice little aerial tour of the place. Built on our fantastic new jetpack. And two, one, zero. There we are. And if I just quickly go and pop this on there, I'm going to take a bunch of our steak. And here we go. I'm pretty sure there's a way to hover, but 
but I'm not actually entirely sure of that. But yeah, this is what we got, we've got going so far. It's actually a nice build. If we don't start on Thorncraft in the next couple of episodes, it'll be probably an episode after that. But we need to get the storage system sorted. I'm actually going to have to try and in enclose the cables underneath all the uh, path, I think, might be the best way to do it. But, let's uh, slow down. Nice, that was beautiful. Didn't use, well, I used a fair bit of energy actually. Used a nice 2000 bit whack of energy there. Let's quickly pop that. You know, I don't even need to pop it in there. Let's just sort. So sort some inventory out before we go, and I'm just going to obviously say my goodbyes. So it's it's been nice having you guys. It really has. And put that coal in there. Uh, let's store the gold in there. Says, so yeah, I haven't got nothing that I can do. Bang like that. Redstone back. I'm actually running really low on redstone, so I have to do a lot of transferring. Um, and I think that's it, actually, guys. I think we've come to a wrapping up point here. Um, I want to say just thank you for watching, keep checking my videos out, it really motivates me for obviously continuing making videos. But I want to say thank you again, I hope you enjoyed the episode, I'll see you tomorrow, bye.